this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. How's she going today? Well, I'm hauling some of my wheat here to the elevator today. Uh, they called yesterday and wanted me to start, but it was a little bit too late in the day to be able to get things organized enough to start hauling. So, told them I would start today. So, we're in the uh, 13 letter shit spreader here. <laughs> and uh, Rob was quite a ways behind me there. He, probably just leaving the yard now um, we're still working on drying this grain at the same time this wheat because you remember we didn't hardly get any of it out of the field dry and I've been drying it in that bin so I got a few loads here that are ready to go uh, what's in here isn't 100% dry but it's gonna have to be close enough but uh, we'll bring them what we can and just keep working at it I guess so the elevator's just over there behind the row of trees. There's a big bump. So, uh, yeah, we had a lot of rain here that day that I went to help Ryan when we brought the 21 out there. You can see the road is just glare ice, totally iced over with snow on top. So, I'm going about, I don't know what that is, 50 kilometers an hour, I guess. So. 20, what would that be, 30 miles an hour, I guess, give or take, so. I suppose we'll get where we're going and I'll talk to you when we get there. Oh, I just thought too much heat. So why don't I call you dad again? <laughs> <laughs> I showed up here one day. <laughs> I thought we found you on a street corner in Saskatoon. Well, is you how didn't it was. find me. Yeah, I know, but Grandpa and Grandma did. Uh, I was found on a street corner. Right. With the natives. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, didn't want me anymore, so I was good enough for here. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, anyway, back at the yard again because that load of wheat was, well, I knew it was a bit tough, but. The uh, rest of it here needs to dry a little bit more yet, as I kind of figured, so Rob's gonna come back and get a load. We just got everything uh, running again to maybe dry it a little bit more, so. We'll see what happens anyways when he gets back, and hopefully we can get a few more loads brought in. I'll try to do uh, a couple thousand bushels a day. I gotta do 10,000, so get it, uh, dry it out and hopefully it'll be good. All right, so Rob is back. We're gonna work on getting the load here. He's trying to line himself up a bit better, but get a load out of this bin because I think it should be fairly close to dry, but uh, I'm going to test as we load here just to make sure, and if it's not, well then we'll wait a few more days and dry things out a bit more, but I'll get things going here and we'll talk to you in a few.
third load. This will be my second trip here today. Um, kind of got into a different bin and it was 15.3 moisture. And they still don't think that's dry enough, but I kind of more or less told them to go fuck themselves because that's as good as it's going to get on a year like this. So I said, I'll bring one more then. I'll figure out a plan for next week. But I have some drier stuff, so I'm going to make them a deal here. They take one load of the dry stuff. It's like 13 moisture. Dry is 14 and a half on wheat. So I get one load of 13 and then they get one load at 15.3 and they can blend it off themselves. So that's kind of the plan. So we'll see how that works out. You know how my plans usually go. So anyway, I'm going to get there with this. And I'll talk to you again here in a little bit, probably when we get back to the yard and we'll see what's going on. Dad and Aunt, uh, Dad and Antoine, Dad and Rob are uh, working on shuffling some of the tough grain around into the uh, drying bin so we can continue drying some more of it, keep getting a little bit more dry stuff that way. So that's kind of the plan as it stands. So we'll talk to you again in a little bit when I uh, have something else to talk to you about. So, how was your day today? Oh, drive around, drive uh, around. Are you wearing sweatpants under those? Always. That's what they'll always be asking. <laughs> Stripes and sweatpants. <laughs> Gotta be comfy. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You knew how many pairs of jeans I ripped the crotch out of. You know why I wear sweatpants. Yeah, well, people were asking on the live stream what it would take to get you out of sweatpants, and we said a naked woman. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's about the extent of it. <laughs> <laughs> well. We got uh, 1,500 bushels brought in, roughly, and uh, freight liners full of dry stuff, but I'm swinging them a deal because that bin there is 12.9.13, and this stuff here is 14.9, and that over there is 16, but we got the heat going on it to dry it. So uh, I'm going to bring them one load of dry stuff and one load of what should be dry, but they're picky apparently, so they're going to just have to lump it, I guess. but. And that's how it's gonna be, but gotta do something. Can't hurt. <laughs> so we're gonna work on that now, I guess. And this one here is almost done. The few little odds and ends we had to do on him, but I guess that's where I'll leave you for now. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, watch all the videos because we gotta keep buying Rob sweatpants. So. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. But anyway, I guess thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next one.